everyone, it's Jason from EskimoTV.net, and today I'm going to be reviewing May-December. If you prefer to read my review, you can go check it out over at EskimoTV.net. Loosely inspired by the controversial story of Mary Kay Letanaru, the film takes a bold step in exploring the aftermath of a 20-year-old relationship that began with an inappropriate and illegal age difference. An actress comes to visit and study the couple and those involved and or impacted by this relationship. What sets this film apart is its commitment to showcasing the rarely discussed long-term consequences and complexities that unfold in the years following such a relationship. Under Haynes' direction, the film unfolds with a deliberate and nuanced pace, allowing the audience to fully immerse themselves in the intricacies of the characters and their relationships. Christopher Blauvelt's cinematography, with its older, grainy look, adds a layer of realism to the scenes, complementing the film's exploration of the long-term impact of unconventional relationships. Natalie Portman, portraying the inquisitive actress Elizabeth, delivers a mesmerizing performance that elevates the film to new heights. Her portrayal of a curious woman studying the lives of those involved in this controversial relationship is filled with deep sincerity and nuance. Portman's voice, tone, her movements, and undeniable beauty make Elizabeth a compelling character to follow. The suspense surrounding Elizabeth's true motivations for studying these characters so deeply adds an extra layer of intrigue, keeping the audience guessing and engaged throughout the film. Is her dedication merely so she can portray Gracie more accurately in the film? Or is there something else she is feeling? It certainly appears that there is. Julianne Moore as Gracie, the older woman in this once forbidden relationship, also brings forth a powerful and nuanced performance to the table. More more masterfully communicates Gracie's discontent with Elizabeth's presence through facial expressions and an uninspired tone of voice, leaving audiences questioning the reasons behind allowing Elizabeth into her life. Moore successfully captures the essence of a character whose actions have left a lasting impact on those around her. Additionally, Moore skillfully portrays Gracie's unhinged behavior, vividly exemplified when a canceled pie order sends her into a tearful tantrum. This psychotic behavior leaves the audience asking how did her relationship survive for so long? She is incredibly unhinged. Charles Melton, playing the manipulated young man Joe, impressively portrays the pain and turmoil resulting from the inappropriate relationship that began when he was a minor. He was just 13 years old. Julianne Moore's character is like in her 20s. Melton's performance is a testament to the consequences of such situations, not only affecting the individual directly involved, but also the lives of his children and their hopes as they approach graduation. The film's composer, Marcelo Zarvos, contributes significantly to the immersive experience with a simple yet suspenseful musical score. The decision to use dialogue only in several tension-filled scenes, followed by the strategic introduction of striking music, showcases the film's attention to detail and the commitment to building a captivating narrative. Clocking in at just under two hours, it's 117 minutes, May-December is a slow burn, but it never feels sluggish. The tension, well-written characters, and superb acting keep the audience engaged from the first scene to the closing credits. This film is currently in select theaters. It's playing at the IPIC Theater here in Houston, Texas before it begins streaming on Netflix December 1st, 2023 and is a must-watch for those seeking a thought-provoking exploration of the repercussions of unconventional relationships. May-December is a masterpiece seamlessly blending a a compelling narrative with exceptional performance and technical expertise. It navigates a sensitive and often uncomfortable subject matter with grace, no pun intended, and offers audiences a chance to reflect on the complexities of human relationships. As award season approaches, this film is undoubtedly poised to garner nominations in multiple categories, including Best Picture, Best Actress, Best Supporting Actress, Best Supporting Actor, and maybe even Best Ensemble 
Rumble. I liked these uh, group of people and the way that they interacted with each other. Don't miss the opportunity to experience this cinematic gem. I'm going to give May, December an A. And that'll do it for my review. I hope you all enjoyed this review of May, December. If you did, smash that like button. That'll help this video rank higher in the search results. And if you want to see more videos like this in your feed, you can also consider subscribing to the channel where you'll find reviews, unboxings of home entertainment, and more. You can also check out that website, EskimoTV.net, where you'll find reviews from myself as well as other authors. Until next time, y'all, my name is Jason Escamilla from EskimoTV.net. Net.